And yeah. our yeah. next guest uh, was so frustrated in the uh, press conference earlier. She spoke directly to her counterpart, saying, and to everybody, you either care or you don't. Joining us now, Democratic Congressman Alyssa Slotkin of Michigan. Her district includes Oxford High School, where a separate mass shooting occurred less than 15 months ago. And uh, Congresswoman, you've got kids here at Michigan State who were there at Oxford being re-traumatized again. This is beyond an epidemic, and there is no time that we shouldn't be talking about this. Tell us what you think should happen next. Well, look, I mean, I think at least for our community right now, we're just trying to focus on the kids and the families who were most deeply affected. We're focused on understanding this shooter and their motive, but there's just no way you can get around the fact that this just keeps happening and happening and happening, and the government of the United States is not responding to the death of its children. And I, I think this is what I was saying. It's like, don't tell me you care about kids and care about the next generation if you don't right. care about the number one thing that is killing people under 21. And, you know, the, the picture for me that just killed me last night was the picture of the students. And you could see in the crowd one of the students who was being kind of corralled at a parking lot, had been evacuated, and he was wearing an Oxford Strong sweatshirt. That's the sweatshirts mm. they made after mm. they had the Oxford shooting. And this child probably watched his classmates killed in Oxford High School, comes off to Michigan State University and is living that same reality. If, if that doesn't affect people's hearts. I don't I don't understand what does. And uh, I, I you know, we in Michigan, we are a state that believes in our second amendment, right? But I don't know anybody, a hunter, a sportsman who thinks that it's okay that our kids are being killed in their sanctuaries in their schools. So I'm just I I'm I'm filled with rage. Um, and I just um, I'm exhausted by it. And Congresswoman, you yeah. speak for a lot of people. We hear your frustration. We hear your exhaustion. Um, I guess the question is to the point you just made, Michigan is a strong a Second Amendment state, uh, gun rights, responsible gun owners. So what are the conversations you have in these cases to say, I'm not coming for the shotgun you take to go hunting with your kids. I'm not coming for your handgun, even though that's where most of the gun violence rests. What do you say to them in these conversations around, and again, we want to stipulate we don't know anything about the weapon in, yet in this Michigan State shooting, but about things like semi-automatic rifles, about things like the AR-15. How are those conversations when you have them with voters? They're, they're not that complicated. I mean, in Michigan, look, I grew up with guns. I grew up on my family farm. I carried a Glock and an M4 semi-automatic and three tours in Iraq. We have a ton of people who are former military. We have a ton of people whose family a sort of bonding time is going out and hunting. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I think the average person, the average person who is very sort of connected to, to going out and going hunting understands that there's a difference between being able to enjoy being a sportsman and protecting our kids from people who who are mentally ill from getting guns. And so I, I don't actually think this is very complicated with the majority of people, with the majority of gun owners. They want responsible gun ownership. It's the politicians who don't get it. It's the politicians who just refuse to lead and who would rather protect their own ambitions, not cross anyone you know who's powerful like the NRA, and just cower under their desks. And literally, that's what they're doing as our kids cower under their desks. It's just, it's a failure of leadership by elected officials, average people, People get this. It's not complicated. Congresswoman Slotkin, good morning. Jonathan Lemire. Obviously, this shooting last night in Michigan State. Today is the fifth anniversary of the Parkland shooting uh, in Florida. We did see uh, a bipartisan measure, modest measure of reforms passed federally last year. There doesn't seem to be much in the way of optimism for anything new could happen now with Republicans in control of the House. L let us know if you think otherwise, but also just more locally in Michigan. Now the Democrats are in control there in that state. Do you think there's a possibility of some reforms on the state level? I do. And, you know, there was already packages that were being prepared um, uh, on things like safe storage of weapons, if you have children in the home, that were written and created when the Oxford shooting happened. We have local legislators who've been working on those. Um, so I imagine um, that, you know, the next step is going to be bringing that up. Um, and I, I think you're going to see, I, I believe we're going to see some bipartisan support for that. I know some Republicans in the state legislature who, who understand that this is ridiculous. Um, I, I, I don't know what to think about the House of Representatives. 
because they won't even come to the table. It's not even a negotiation because they're so stuck in their own positions in this this reality of being scared of you know the people who donate money to their campaigns. They won't even come to the table. So it's not a negotiation, at least in the state of Michigan. It's a, it's a negotiation right now. Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin of Michigan, thank you very much for coming on the show this morning. Thank we you. are so sorry. We'll see you soon.